Let's import video into Flash. Basically what I'm talking about is taking a video that we have on our computer and putting it into our Flash file. And what you can do with this is basically if you're having a presentation and you want to have a little video playing automatically on the side that you've recorded, all you have to do is import it into the Flash file and there you go, you have your video. And also I'm going to be showing you two types of ways to import it. The first way is just normally where you can look at it and you know just the normal way you would do it. The second one is the way where you don't have all the frames that are inside of it. And the third way is the one where you actually have the video player where you can have the stop button without having to actually make that. And I'm going to be doing all this stuff in this video tutorial, so make sure to stick around and subscribe. So the first part is to go, so the first part is to, go to File, go down to Import, and go to Import to Library. And after you've done that, your little search box should pop up and look for your video that you're going to import. What I'm going to be importing is this Explosion 1 file. Whoops. Okay, there it goes. And a little thing should pop up that's giving you a bunch of options that you can do with your video. Here it is. It says select video. This is the first part. It's asking you where your file path is and all that kind of stuff. We don't need to mess with this one, so all we got to do is press next. And this is deployment. This is the part that we're going to be able to choose all the stuff we want to do with it. It says, how would you like to deploy your video? It has all these different options. We're going to start off with embed, vi embed video in Swift and play in timeline. So we're going to click that one and then go to next. Then click next again. And if you want to, in this part, here it is, you can edit the video, audio, crop and resize it, all that good stuff, but I'm not and then I'm just going to click next again and then click finish now it's going and it's going to import into our flash file now it might ask you to save it somewhere because I've already saved this one so if it does just save it anywhere you want to and then import it and so as it goes I'm going to talk to you about the other stuff we're going to be doing this one is where you can look at it frame by frame it goes through a lot of frames if you've ever seen those little stick movies where it has the video playing and somebody's fighting a stick guy you can do videos like this with what I'm going to be showing you right here and all you gotta do is it's really easy and flash and very simple and uh, yeah I'm going to be showing you two other ways as well this is the first way and it's going almost there and it's about finished and so it should pop up into your library okay it should be going by now there it goes okay and you might be wondering oh no where is it because you might not have your library open so let me close my library well to open your library all you have to do is go to window go down to library when you click that your library should pop up and it should be in there and it should be labeled explosion one so click on that and drag it into the stage and when you do that a little pop-up should come up and it says this video requires blah 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 frames to display its entire length you're just going to choose yes and as you can see here this is your video if you drag the little marker you can see where the video and how it progresses and all that good stuff so let me go to control test movie. You can see your little video in your flash file. And it's very simple to import it. It doesn't seem like a lot, but if you don't know how to do it, then it's probably very hard for you. And that's the video I have. It's just of a little explosion. It's from uh, destroyed in seconds one of my favorite shows on Discovery Channel that's probably my only favorite show but whatever <clears throat> okay so after you've got that done you can probably add a new layer and make uh, just little videos and add more stuff so in our next example we have something like this I just wrote down a bunch of random stuff so don't waste your time reading it but basically this is sort of an example of a website it says all the information over here and all the other stuff, but in this blue little box, we want to have a video showing. And to do this, all we have to do is import our video. But what if we don't want it to have all those frames, because you know that takes up a lot. So all we're going to do is go to this insert new layer key, or this insert new layer button right here. Click it. And all of a sudden, magically, a new layer appears. And in this new layer, make sure you're on it, click it. 
go to file, import, import to library. Choose the video that you're going to want. I'm just going to get the same one that we just had last time, the explosion. And then just click next on this part. Remember, we don't need to mess with it. And this time, instead of embed a video into Swift and play in timeline, we're just going to click on the one that it's already on. Progressive download from a web server and then click next. And we don't need to mess with this, so let's just click next again. And now this is the skinning. The skinning is basically what you can use to edit our little video. Now as you can see here we have our ideal kind of preview of what we're going to have. And as you can see we have a little we have a little video player down here that you can edit the volume and all that good stuff. And you can click on this drop down menu and choose what kind of video player you're going to want, which you want to have on it, etc., what color you want it to be. But I'm just going to go all the way up to none so that it doesn't have a little player and then click next. If you want a player, choose one of those. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to click on none and then click finish. And then I'm just going to save it as untitled underscore three, just as it is, because I don't really care. Okay. So I think it all, yeah, it automatically goes into your flash file. So all you got to do is go to the free transform tool right here or press Q. And while holding down, or you don't need to, it stays the same size by itself. Oh, yeah, well, while holding down shift, minimize it, and then try to fit it into the little blue box we have, or you don't need to. And the good thing, the reason why I didn't do the regular one that we had before, where it had a lot of frames, is because, of course, it had a lot of frames. And this one just plays on one frame, which is really good. It's what we want. And there you have it. So when you go to Control Test Movie, and as you can see here, and as you can see, we have our little video playing in the little box, and over here we have all the other stuff that the with the website. And yeah, that's really cool. It's just really cool stuff that you can do in Flash. Let's go to import, import to library. Same thing every time. File, import, import to library. Explosion 1. <clears throat> skip the first part. Well, when it pops up, yeah, there it goes. Skip. And then progressive download from a web server, the one it's already on. And then here, uh, oh, go, go back. I accidentally pressed it twice. Wait up. Well, yeah, you, this it's before it. Click next on that one. And then here, for the skinning, you can choose skin over play. It just has the play button. And then you can have the stop, seek, all of that stuff. And then you can also have a full screen mode. Um, it's right there. Let me see some more. Where is it? There it goes, and I'm just going to import this just for show. It's going to take a little bit more time because, of course, it has a little video player.